Hey everybody, um, I'm 39 weeks this week, um, yesterday I was 39 weeks, today I had an appointment, um, I've been, the last probably month, they've been trying to schedule an appointment with, uh, the, like, founder of the birth center for me, and Every time that her schedule, like when she's coming in and my schedule, um, like what I, all of, I'm dealing with, um, whenever I can get, an, actually schedule an appointment with her, she ends up having like a birth the night before. So, so then she doesn't come in that day. So I see somebody else and, um, that's fine. It doesn't bother me. I know her. Um, but apparently I haven't seen her since I was 18 weeks and that's the only time I've seen her this pregnancy. Um, so my next appointment is, um, next Wednesday. Um, so a week from today and that would be 40 weeks in one day if I make it that far, which I might. I really... I, I feel like this baby is incredibly comfortable and not coming out. Um, on my Facebook page, I've mentioned it's posterior, um, which it switches around a lot, but at my appointments, it's definitely kicked back. And um, the heartbeat is coming up f from really high. Um, last week, they had to do a lot of palp, whatever. They, they were feeling around and they're like, yeah, it definitely feels like a head down there and a butt up there. And I was like, it definitely felt like a butt this morning when it was sticking out. And then they got, um, well, it was a midwife and a student midwife. And then they called in another midwife who's, um, extremely, <laughs> I, I, I was going to say extremely experienced, which is, I don't know that that's true, but she's definitely, um, when I was pretty early along, she was able to, like, pinch the baby and hold it still to get a heartbeat, and, like, they were looking in the wrong place. It was, she really impressed me. I think it was my first or second appointment with her. Um, so she came in and felt around, and she said, yeah, that's definitely a butt up there and you this is your third one your body knows what to do the baby has some extra space to run around in it'll probably drop down what turn when it drops down or something I don't know they're not really worried about it um a, fr a friend of mine she's got what has she got Four boy. Yes. So her last one was um, posterior, and she said it was not comfortable. <laughs> so the whole "it's your third one, your body knows what to do" is not really that that um, encouraging, since uh, her body obviously should know what to do. <laughs> but I'm really not worried about it. My daughter was posterior quite a bit um and I don't think she did a lot of turning around like this one does this one faces all kinds of directions uh um my daughter's birthday is a there's a two weeks behind between my husband's birthday and my birthday and my daughter was born right in the middle and on my birthday I told my son, we're going to the zoo. It's my birthday. That's what I want to do. He didn't want to go to the zoo for some reason. I was like, it's my birthday. That's what we're doing. It's what I want to do. And before we went to the zoo, I took a bath with him and I laid sideways in the bath because he wanted to get in the front, which I don't know why I was in the front of the bath. Maybe the water was too hot for him or something at first. I have no clue because normally when he and I took a bath together, he was in the front, but we, I laid down on my side t 
to like kind of give him room to scoot up to the front and she turned sideways and she was sideways for three days and because she was posterior I had been looking at spinning babies and looking at like different um, information on like uh, c-section rates and um, turning and what to do to turn them and I was so nervous because she was sideways and three days and I never felt like I felt her turn sideways but I never felt her drop back head down so but I obviously I could tell because when I laid back my belly was like football shaped instead of I don't know it was side you could definitely tell when I laid back she was like sticking out sideways so I'm kind of hoping I'm not hoping for this one to turn sideways but when she did turn and turn back down she was a weird noise and I'm the only one in here um she came out fine <laughs> um other information. Doo -doo -doo. There's another weird noise. Not from in this room. Um. Uh, da -da -da -da. I am in the kids' room. You can see my son's artwork. This was above the crib. He did it for my daughter. Well, some of some of it he did for her, and some of it. Like, the little fishbowl is a Dr. Seuss's birthday thing from preschool. And some of it he just painted and some of it he, he when he painted it, he said he wanted to hang it above the crib. I took down the crib a pretty long time ago. My daughter's almost a year and a half and I took her out of the crib and put her in the big big kid bed with my son quite a while ago because they were using the crib as like a trampoline or something. He would climb in there with her in the middle of the night and they'd both stand up and start jumping. I was like, no, so, not what this is for, it's for sleeping. So that's gone. Um, and it needs to be for the space for the pool. I did post a picture on my Facebook page of the pool aired up in here. It takes up just about all of the space that's here. I'm gonna try and move some other stuff around. Um, thought I would show you what we've got. A lot of stuff is moved, not where it will be. Um, we got the birth pool and all this stuff behind it. This. I don't even know how to describe what that is. They're shoes that fit, and one of mine, because my daughter thinks she can wear it. Um, so, this, underneath of all of this stuff, is like a measuring thing. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see? It was my husband's, and on the back side, there's like little footprints where you stand, and then like a chart so you can measure how tall you are and we use it as like a coat and hat rack for my son's things and obviously there's not enough room there's a bunch of hats behind it stacked up and uh, my guitar that I don't play um, but I my mom asked if I wanted it and I think my son will like it that's full of books, and the bookshelf is full of mostly books. Um, see, I don't know where I'm going to put this stuff, because the closet is full. Uh, the boxes have got like 12 to 24 month clothes in it, I think, maybe 24 months. It's mostly boy stuff, so... I didn't, 
I dug through it a little bit and pulled out what my daughter will wear, but I didn't want to put it in the garage. We were having garage access issues, which got fixed today. I am extremely excited. My landlord finally got us a key and got the door fixed. And then over here is the crib, which I'm not sure if we will use at all, but we bought it for my daughter because my son's was recalled. So it would be kind of a waste not to use it, especially since she didn't use it that long. The kids' messy bed. I've got a lot of stuff up on top right now. Um, my daughter's baby swing. She thinks it's a stroller, and so it causes a lot of problems that it doesn't roll. And then all her babies. Um, and some noisy toys I took away last night. I know it shouldn't all be up there, and it will come down sometime. But I've got this is not coming down, so I kind of think the stuff up there is okay-ish. Behind this was these two boxes, which are newborn to three months. Well, that's what's in there now. We got into the garage and finally found the newborn clothes and newborn diaper covers yesterday, which was like a huge sigh of relief. And now we have a key so we can get in the garage, which is another huge sigh of relief. So this isn't got much in it. It's pants and shorts and a ton of socks. But... Uh, and maybe a few pairs of shoes that, if it's a boy, they won't wear. Uh, it says outfits and sleepers, and in the back is a ton of onesies. And I just stacked it all in there, so most of the newborn stuff is on top, which is nice. This, this rocking chair. Well, I don't fit in it. Actually, I think I did a vlog sitting in it when I was pregnant with my daughter <laughs> and I don't fit <laughs> I don't fit I don't even want to try I'm smaller than I was with her but that is mine my uh, grandparents see if I could see it oh it's upside down see it's from my grandparents they my sister and I each have one and they stained them mine's pretty I'm sure my sister thinks hers is pretty, but I I like mine better. This bag is full of stuff I'm just getting rid of. That's zero, uh, newborn to three months, probably stuff that I now just know um, my kids won't wear. Like, there's stuff I think is cute, and I just... Even though I think it's cute, I don't put it on my kids. So behind this stuff is the toy box and a teeny tiny space. And this is dress up clothes in the box. So this used to be over over there. All the step stool is there so I could get the boxes up and down from the top bunk. So it used to be over there, and it will probably go back there so they have space in front of the toy box. Uh, and I might stack some of that stuff over there. So we have a little bit more room over there when the pool is set up. Because um, I think it was about the same amount of space... Uh, um, they had to squeeze between the bed and the pool to get to the open space. There's pillows under the bed. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, there's some other stuff I can show you. Over here is, ooh, that's way too bright on the white. Um, 
that's my diaper stacker thing. And actually, it's empty right now. I need to do my laundry and fold it. Um, I think that might be where it stays. I did have it hanging from the bed, but my daughter kept climbing up and pulling things out. In this is her covers. I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. After the birth that it might come down and I will put a separator in there so we can have both covers in the same place and they won't get confused. Um, I thought, I also thought about stacking the covers in the side, but I think with my little helpers and even my big helper that, um, it would get a confused whose covers belong where. So, um, oh, and up there is my hose. I've rinsed it off and rinsed it out. Uh, I'm ready to use it. Trying to think of what else. I need to do a belly shot and I can't do it because this is too high. Um, maybe this. Okay. Let's see if that will work. I have this problem. I probably mentioned it when I was pregnant with my daughter. The elastic in my maternity pants is always folding over. And most of them that I was pregnant with my that I are left over from my son, um, I sewed so when it folds over that it stays it doesn't that it stays in the casing and it doesn't like fold over on top of itself. But I missed these short these shorts. So here is I don't know how well you can see against the color since I'm wearing dark and there's dark stuff behind me. 39 weeks. And I did not do a belly shot even on my Facebook page last week. Um my husband, um, my husband started school last week. Yes, last week. My son's been in school for three weeks. I, I don't know. My husband is still confused about his schedule. Like today he missed a class. Yesterday he missed a class, which is really bad because um, he's not supposed to, he can only miss like, uh, two classes it might be more than that but um but it would be nice if the classes he were missing were after the baby is born and not before because <laughs> he's not gonna have um I'm gonna try and sit in my rocking chair uh, yeah I don't fit um yeah it would be nice if he weren't wasting his days because he forgot it it would be nice if he were using them because he's home helping me or something. Um, another thing, which is also a one of my huge sighs of relief, um, my mom called uh, a couple days ago and asked if um, I forbid her to come till my daughter was two months old. She was kind of a stress to me when I had my son. I had him in the hospital and he was induced and she didn't, she had um, C-sections with me and my sister, so I don't think, and I was induced, she was induced with me, so um, I think she just thought, assumed that she was, that I was in as much pain as she was in and eventually I was like, fine, just give me something to shut her up. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> Um, which I probably needed it because I was, then I was able to sleep because my labor was pretty, well, not pretty long. Normal people would go through labor that long, but 
It's like 25 hours, and that's from when it got serious. <laughs> um, and I, not, I wouldn't say serious, like, I just would say that's when things got regular and a little intense enough I would have been like, yeah, maybe I should go to the hospital. Um, so, yeah. She, then, um, after I had him, she went home to my house. They kept me an extra day because, um, they said my labor was really rough. I had a lot of tearing and stitching and they wanted to keep an eye on me. Um, so, uh, she went to my house because she couldn't stay the night with me or whatever. And then, um, I don't even, I don't know how she got home. <laughs> it's just <laughs> something random to think about now because, um, obviously we needed my car with the car seat in it to get home. So I think maybe a friend of mine took her home. I don't know. And she couldn't come back on base because I was on, I was in a military hospital. She couldn't come back without like military ID. So she went to my house and she cleaned my house, which really upset me because I was hormonal and I felt like my house was clean. <laughs> so it, it was just stressful to me. And then, um, when I got home, I took a nap and when I woke up, she had changed my son from what he was wearing and I was upset about that. I was just like, I don't want... So, um, then I had my daughter at home and she wasn't exactly a fan of that idea. So I was like, well, I don't really want to... I She did come to terms with it before it happened. Because I told her and just about anybody who had, had opinions about it that I didn't like, well, that they could not talk to me about the birth until they had something nice to say. <laughs> um, and I guess she and my sister might have done a little research and decided that was fine or whatever, or they just really wanted to be involved in it as much as they could, even if it was just talking about it. So they came to terms with that. Um, and, um, but I still, I was like, I don't want to see you for two months till I'm kind of regulated on my hormones and stuff. Hello. Hello. You want to sit with me? Oh. Are you putting water in your hair? Um. So, hey, you need to turn that down or off or leave. I'm doing a video, Jesse. Okay. Um, do you see you? Um, so yeah. Then she didn't come till she was like four months. I don't know. It seemed like, then I, it seemed like a really long time. And, um, she called the other day. Yeah, I got really sidetracked. She called the other day and said, um, asked that she was willing to come out if I needed her. And I was like, yeah, I'll talk to my husband about that. Because I've been a little bit stressed about that. Because um, last time my church family, has, um, they were really um, supportive and stuff. And they still are. It's just I didn't tell anybody about my pregnancy this time. I just kind of kept it to myself. It's like if you figure it out, you figure it out if you don't. Hey. You waving? <laughs> um, so, actually, and then the end, of the whole summer was kind of messed up. We didn't get to go to church that often. And we went Sunday, and there, he's like, you're we'll due, what, like, next month or the month after? And I was like, no, I'm due, like, next week. And I think um, they like a little more time to prepare. <laughs> um they brought me meals afterwards and even even that I can handle like meals between me and my husband and how much time he's gonna have off this semester I'm pretty sure we can handle that but um, I was a little stressed about I've been walking my son to school and picking him up and I 
don't think I'm going to be up for that right after the baby is born. I think three miles a day right after the baby is probably a bit intense. Um, so, um, so I was, it would be nice if my mom were here for that. And I thought, um, and I really, once I got to thinking about it, um, you wobbly, are you tired? Um, once I got to thinking about it, I realized it would be nice if she were here beforehand so I can introduce my son's teacher to her so she knows that she can release him to her because they're not supposed to release students, um, the kindergartners, until they make eye contact with who's picking them up and then there's a list of people who are authorized to pick them up and my mom is not on my I don't have anybody on my emergency plan because I don't really know anybody that well and trust them with my son so um yeah um so it would be nice if she were here beforehand so I could do that instead of having to do that even after I have a baby um and then so my only concern now is whether my mom can be as hands off as I like people to be when I'm stressed or in pain which um I did a childbirth refresher class and that's something um that was kind of brought up like when I'm stressed or in pain I need my alone time, my alone space. I need people just not to bother me so I can deal with it. And I, the, um, my daughter was born before the midwife or the assistant got here. And I think that had a lot to do with it. My husband wasn't even, well, he was in the room when she was born, but he was kind of just kind, kind of coming in and checking on me every once in a while. He was busy doing I don't know what he was doing. I know he was writing an email because he told me he went and he was writing an email and he was had typed my wife is having a baby to the person he was writing an email to and he came to check on me <clears throat> and then and after she was born he went back and changed it to my wife just had a baby <laughs> which is really kind of funny and the person probably had like no clue that you know, my wife just had a baby. Could be like, my wife had a baby a day ago. But it was like really right then when he wrote it. <clears throat> this is probably really long. So I will stop now. Peace. Oh, I was um contemplating um photography and video. Um, I didn't get much of either. I had to um, beg my husband to record a contraction with my daughter. So with my mom here, I might be able to get a little bit more than what I got. So if I don't do a video next week, I will probably upload what I get from labor and delivery. Bye.